The anime series Bungo Stray Dogs is known for its unique blend of action, mystery, and supernatural elements. However, one aspect of the show that is often overlooked is its portrayal of mental health, and in particular, depression. Depression is a serious mental illness that affects millions of people around the world, and it is not something that should be taken lightly. In the anime series Bungo Stray Dogs, the topic of depression is addressed in a nuanced and thoughtful manner through the character of Osamu Dazai. Dazai is a complex and tragic character in the Bungo Stray Dogs anime series. He is a former member of the Port Mafia, a powerful criminal organization, and is known for his ability to erase his own existence. Despite his confidence and carefree demeanor, Dazai is plagued by depression and has a very troubled past. One of the most striking things about how Bungo Stray Dogs handles the topic of depression is that it does not sugarcoat or romanticize Dazai's illness. Dazai's depression is portrayed as a serious and debilitating condition that has a profound impact on his life and the lives of those around him. It is not depicted as something that can be easily cured or overcome through sheer force of will, but rather as a chronic condition that requires ongoing treatment and support. In the series, Dazai's struggle with depression is depicted through his interactions with the other characters, his inner monologues, and his actions. It is revealed that Dazai has a history of attempting suicide, and he often jokes about it as a way of coping with his inner turmoil. He is also shown to have a self-destructive tendency, as he frequently puts himself in dangerous situations and seems to have a death wish. And throughout the series, Dazai's depression is showcased as a constant presence in his life that he struggles to cope with. He often turns to self-destructive behavior as a way to numb his pain and feelings of worthlessness. In one particularly saddening scene, Dazai tells his friend and fellow Mafia member Chuya that the only thing that makes me feel alive is when I'm at death's door. This statement showcases the depth of Dazai's despair and his reliance on risky and dangerous activities to find a sense of purpose. So one of the main causes of Dazai's depression is his sense of loneliness and isolation. He has a strained relationship and has difficulty connecting with others on a deeper level. This is exemplified in his relationship with his before mentioned former partner Chuya, a guy who he once deeply cared for but ultimately betrayed. Dazai's feelings of guilt and regret over his actions contribute to his negative view on himself and his worth as a person. Another factor contributing to Dazai's depression is his belief that he is a burden to others. He feels that his ability is a curse and that his presence puts those around him in danger. This is especially evident in his relationship with Atsushi, the main character of the series, who he sees as a younger version of himself. Dazai is often protective of Atsushi and tries to keep him out of harm's way, but at the same time, he believes that he himself is a liability to the armed detective agency. Going deeper, another aspect of Dazai's depression that is explored in the show is its roots in his troubled childhood. Dazai was orphaned at a young age and was forced to fend for himself on the streets. He was eventually taken in by the Port Mafia, but the trauma of his early life and the pressure to succeed within the organization took a toll on his mental health. Now, despite his struggles, Dazai is not completely consumed by his depression. He is shown to have moments of genuine happiness and moments of self-reflection where he recognizes the negative impact of his actions. He also has a strong sense of loyalty and duty to the armed detective agency and works hard to protect his colleagues. But it's still a struggle, of course. One of the most saddening scenes in the series that highlights Dazai's struggle with depression is in season two, when he confronts his former friend, Ango. Dazai reveals to Ango that he has always felt inadequate and that he has never been able to measure up to his expectations. He also confesses that he has always been envious of Ango's seemingly perfect life and that he has always wanted to be like him. This scene is significant because it shows Dazai's vulnerability and his willingness to open up about his inner turmoil. It also highlights the root of his depression, which is his lack of self-worth and his constant comparison to others. Interestingly, but it makes a lot of sense, another of the main causes of Dazai's depression is in fact in his ability, no longer human, which he sees as a curse rather than a blessing. 
He believes that his ability is a burden that he cannot bear and feels guilty for the destruction and death it has caused. This guilt is further compounded by the fact that he was once a member of the Port Mafia, an organization that used its abilities for criminal purposes. Dozai is constantly tormented by the memories of the atrocities he committed as a member of the Mafia and feels that he does not deserve to live because of them. Now, despite his struggles with depression, Dazai is not a one-dimensional character. He is shown to be a complex individual who is capable of love and compassion. He forms close bonds with the other members of the armed detective agency, but in particular that of Atsushi and Kunikida. He is protective of them and is willing to risk his life to save theirs. In the end, Dazai's depression is of course not fully resolved, but he is able to find some sense of peace and acceptance. He comes to terms with his past mistakes and finds a sense of purpose in helping others. He also develops those strong relationships with the other members of the armed detective agency and is able to find some happiness in his life. Does I Struggle with Depression in Bungo Stray Dogs is a touching and realistic portrayal of the complex and multi-sided nature of mental illness. It shows that depression is not a one-dimensional problem with a simple solution and that it requires patience, understanding and support from others. It also highlights the importance of self-acceptance and the power of finding purpose and connection with others. In addition to Dazai, several other characters in Bungo Stray Dogs also struggle with mental health issues. Atsushi, the protagonist of the series, suffers from PTSD due to his past where he grew up in an orphanage that's caretakers severely abused him both mentally and physically. Kyoka, a former member of the Port Mafia, now armed detective agency, has an abusive past and struggles with feelings of worthlessness and self-hatred. Even the normally bubbly and energetic Kunikida has moments of despair and hopelessness. One of the most powerful aspects of Bungo Stray Dogs' portrayal of depression is the way it shows that it is not something that can be easily overcome or cured. Dazai and the other characters struggle with their mental health on a daily basis and have to work hard to find ways to cope and manage their symptoms. In one episode, Dazai even admits that he will always be a person with depression. One of the most touching moments in the series that highlights Dazai's struggle with his depression is a conversation that he has with Atsushi. A conversation in which he confesses his feelings of inadequacy and his belief that he is a burden to those around him. Atsushi responds by telling Dazai that he is valuable and that his life does have meaning. And you know, it's this exchange that serves as a turning point for Dazai. It helps him to realize that he is not alone and that there are people who care about him and most importantly, people who want him to live. Despite the challenges they face, the characters in Bungo Stray Dogs also demonstrate the importance of seeking help and support when dealing with depression. While these methods are not a cure-all, they can be an important part of a treatment plan for managing depression itself. Like we mentioned, Dazai's relationships with his fellow agency members also play a role in his struggle with depression. They serve as a source of support and acceptance, and their presence helps to alleviate some of his feelings of loneliness and isolation. Overall, Bungo Stray Dogs does an excellent job of depicting the complexity and challenges of living with depression. It shows that it is not something that can be easily cured or overcome, but that with the right support and treatment, it is possible to find ways to manage the condition and live a fulfilling life. The series also serves as a reminder of the importance of seeking help and support when dealing with mental health issues and the importance of remembering that you are not alone. And that's the important message behind this video. Always reach out. It's never going to be easy, but take that first step. You know, give yourself a chance. There is always someone that is ready to reach out their own hand to yours. Just grab it. And that's it for today's video. A deep topic, but I hope you enjoyed it. As always, hit that like button to help me out with that YouTube algorithm and smash the subscribe button for more content just like this. It's a real old video, but while you wait for the next video to drop, why not check out this video where I cover five facts about Does I? Guys, that is it from me. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Peace!